Uh, yeah, yeah. Is he here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, these are, uh, these are for Cheryl. Uh, so the kid was selling flowers on the freeway off-ramp, so I thought I'd be the first man to ever bring her flowers. How oh, nice. She's already asleep. But I'll make sure she sees them first thing in the morning. Oh, oh okay. Uh, excuse me. Nice to meet you. Same here. Richie. All right. How you doing? You all right? Me? Yeah. Um, came by to say hi to your mom. I, I think I interrupted her. Oh, yeah. She's with Dennis. I was going to tell you about him. Dennis. Seems like a nice guy. Maybe a little bit too good looking. Whether they're old friends, huh? Not exactly. They just met today through a computer dating service. I slipped mom's stats into their computer. It's a high-class place. It's called Compudate. Did you say Compudate? Mm-hmm. Why? Mr. Humphrey is in a meeting, but he'd like you to wait in his office. He'll just be a minute. Thank you. Oh. Serendipity. down at the Gazette. Of course, yours works. <laughs> well, I hope you're here to write a glowing article about the computer dating industry, uh, featuring CompuDate prominently, of course. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I'm here researching another story. Concerning the death of Muriel Greggers, I understand she was a client of yours. You, uh, you must have excellent sources, Mr. Farley. Our client list is very confidential. Yeah, and uh, very exclusive, I understand, in the monetary sense. We do have rather high standards. What, uh, what is it exactly you want? Well, I understand from my excellent sources that shortly after Muriel Gregers enlisted your service, she was seen around town with a Terry Blair, some 17 years her junior, Last year, he made just under $11,000. Now, he seems to have disappeared. I'm, I'm curious how this uh, elusive Mr. Blair made it onto your rolls. What makes you think they met through CompuDate? Perhaps they met at, uh, say, a washeteria. <laughs> she already had her own washer and dryer. I have proof they met through CompuDate, OK? Well, we certainly have nothing to hide. Mr. Blair is a commodities trader. All brokers have their ups and downs, and last year was a very bad one for his business. Okay. Well, I checked with Miss Gregor's bank. It seems that she withdrew substantial sums of money, starting with the time she began to see Mr. Blair, up until shortly before she stopped. What does that suggest to you? Not a thing. But uh, whatever it might mean to you, it certainly has nothing to do with CompuDate. Good day, Mr. Farley. Yeah, see you around. I decided to play hooky. Oh. How's it going? Oh, don't ask. I wasn't meant to do this. Oh. Look, I have a wonderful idea. What? Why don't you let me do your books? 
I wouldn't let you do that. You do accounting all week, and to ask you to do it for free? To be a donation? I can write it off. Oh. Honestly, you'll be helping me with my taxes if you let me do it. And besides, remember, is that? Or a beach bum, or a skydiver? Do you want me to jump out of an airplane, or you let me do your books? Hmm. Donation accepted. All right. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Hi. Hi. I seem to keep interrupting you. Oh, no. You no. Okay. Is Richie here? Oh, uh, yeah. I think he's up here. Good. Mr. Wright. Hello. Oh, Cheryl loved her flowers. She was just the envy of every little girl in her class. Great. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, I don't think that uh, this CompuDate is the most reputable company in the world. Why? Have you ever heard of Muriel Gregers? Sure. Everybody knows her. She won the Pulitzer Prize for her article on the Viet Cong wife. Yeah, she killed herself just a few days ago. Well, I'm not convinced she did. I think someone might have done it for her. And I think it might be connected to CompuDate. Could you access the private files of CompuDate's president, Robert Humphrey, and print out what he's got on Muriel Gregers and a Terry Blair? CompuDate matched them up. Now he's disappeared. Sure. Great. Hey, Terry. Hey, Terry. Here's the executive's phone number. No problem. Customer files. It's a six-digit password. Okay, all right. The famous Richie Adler password penetrator program will isolate it for us. set up to disconnect the moment a wrong password's entered. There's no way for me to run through the whole list of possibilities, unless each one's a separate phone call. Well, can't Ralph do that? Yes, but with all the disconnects and redials, it could take days. Worse. It's a toll call. Oh, that's right. Hey, I'll pay the phone bill. You got it. Right. Uh, Richie, if you get in, it might be a good idea to print out the file on Mr. Dennis Wright. Well, I guess. Okay. Bye, again. Bye. Hey, uh, something wrong? No, nothing. Well, maybe a little something. What? I'm sort of beginning to worry about liking you too much. Well, personally, I don't think that's anything to worry about. If you feel uneasy with the way things are, we can always back off a couple of steps. What do you mean? Not see each other as much. I could call rather than just dropping by. Whatever it takes to make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, that, that would probably be the smartest move. But then I've seldom been known for making the smartest moves. Oh, hmm? by the way, the bank asked me to have you sign this form. Just a formality. Use my back. Whatever you say, Mr. Wright. Look, I got it to sign the power of attorney. More than that... All right. You transfer the money out of the charity account and into the other bank. And you write her a bad check from the old account, take her to the party so she isn't suspicious, and get on a midnight plane. You'll be in Venezuela before the check bounces. Here's your ticket. If we go through with this, you're going to lose my services for a long, long time. I think we should just skip it. 